Hi, writers. Welcome to session four, laying the bricks of information. We've already done a ton of pre-writing for this, um, this unit and this book, and now it's time to start our drafting phase. And I'm gonna give you a little tip. When you begin your draft, take a look at your table of contents and think about which chapter is gonna be the easiest one for you to write. And that's where I would start. So today I want you to realize that this unit that is called information writing is information writing for a reason. It's made up entirely of information. The book you're gonna make is like building a brick wall. You take little bits of information and you put them together and then you put more information on top and more information on top and soon you'll have a book made up of information that you can teach somebody. And I have a really great example here that I think would be, um, it might not be a bad idea for you to leave this up on your screen while you're starting your draft. So I would refer to this slide and the next one as you're writing, because this kid did a really, really good job. And I'm gonna show you why. First of all, you remember to write the date and he wrote the topic. So this is sort of like the title of his book. It doesn't have to be, but the topic is bats. And then he's got his table of contents. So he's got his topic, which is bats, and then he's got different kinds of bats, predators, how they communicate, what they eat, and what they do, and where they live. So he's got six chapters in his book, and he's gonna take each one of those chapters, and you may have already done this, this was work from yesterday. Um, you're going to, he took the, one of the chapters is, what bats eat. So he's taken his subtopic and now it's right in the middle, right? So it's what bats eat. And he says they eat small bats eat fruit, bigger bats eat small mammals, bumblebee bats eat fruit, and he goes on. And so these are the things that he's going to put in his chapter about what bats eat. Then on the next slide, you can see how he's taken that boxes and bullets about what bats eat, and he's transferred it into writing. So I think he does a nice job of taking these pieces of information and rather than just taking exactly what he wrote on his boxes and bullets and moving it over into a paragraph, he's actually put them, them together a little bit. So for example, where he's, he says small bats eat fruit and bubble bat, bee bats eat fruit, he says here, Small bats eat fruit like bumblebee bats because they are too small to hunt for small mammals. So bumblebee bats eat any insect. And he goes on, but you can see that it's not directly transferring from the boxes and bullets onto his rough draft. And this is a very rough draft. He's gonna be working on this for a while, making it better and better and better. But I hope that you can keep this structure in mind as you're writing. And if you do, then your chapters are gonna be amazing. So today you're gonna to be writing your draft. You're going to review your table of contents and choose a chapter that feels the easiest for you to begin to write your rough draft. So remember, they're not perfect. Rough drafts are rough. So do your best with spelling, but don't stress about it. Do your best with punctuation, but don't stress out about it. Do your very best, but it's more about getting the information out at this point than making it perfect because you have plenty of time to work on making it perfect. So today, review your table of contents and begin drafting chapter by chapter. And remember, this work should be entered into your writer's notebook. So if regardless of whether you're doing it by hand or you're typing it into your writer's notebook, the information should be in your writer's notebook and it probably will be version one, right? Draft one. So I cannot wait to see what you do with this.